Hey guys, welcome back to another Yo-Kai Watch unboxing video, and today we are checking out the Rough Raft Jabanyan and Batignan figures from Hasbro, exclusive only at Target, which means these things are going to be pretty tough to come by, but man, do they look cool. Now, when I saw these in my local Target, I was like, yep, yeah, this is going to be a video, holy crud. The uh, box art itself isn't really too spectacular. You got some cool, like, shots of, or not really shots, but some cool pictures of what you're going to get in here. The medals, the figures, and, you know, just an illustration of them. My favorite part is actually this side of the box. Just has all the yokai kind of, like, together. The whole reason this figure and collection set exists anyways is because in the animation, Ruff Raff and Jabanyan sort of combine during their fight and create Badanyan for brief moment, and I guess that was worth making a toy over, but the main reason you're probably going to go after this is because of this right here. There are exclusive yokai medals for Badignan, Ruff Raff, and Jabanyan that you can't get anywhere else. These things don't even exist in Japan from what I can gather, so I honestly think that's really, really cool. But now onto the actual unboxing, and uh, oh man, I don't even know where to start with this, holy crap, <laughs> this thing is like really well put together, and by that I mean it is going to be really hard to open up, but, well, I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, I think I found its weakness, I think if I open the box like this, yes, the toys will come out, imagine that, crazy, right, oh my goodness, that seemed like it was going to be a lot harder than it actually was, and is there any plastic, like, keeping these guys in. I can't actually tell. There's something like that, but oh, I'll figure it out. So this is what they look like outside of the packaging. And actually, let's first check out these yokai medals. Here's a little close-up shot of what all the medals look like. You got Jabanyan uh, relaxing. And <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but he's just relaxing by the pool, I guess, uh, sipping some of his drink. We got the Badnyan. It's striking kind of a, you know, Weird pose, not sure what's going on there. It's just like kind of pouting, but these like sparkles around him. Not sure what's going on there. And we also got the Rough Raff, who's like, I don't know, almost like in a superhero stance for some reason. Like he's like, Rough Raff to the rescue! And it's like, dude, you, isn't Rough Raff a bad guy? I don't know, but yeah. I'll put the QR codes probably in the description of the video or at the end if you're interested in that. But from what I can gather, they don't give you really anything too unique. But the main reason you're going after this toy is for the figures themselves, and oh boy, getting these out is probably going to be pretty difficult, but I'll try my best. And now that we've removed the three figures out of their packaging, this is pretty much what you're going to get. Three relatively large figures of Jabanyan, Ruff Raff, and the fusion of the two, which is Bad and Yan. Now, I gotta say this right now, for whatever reason, Jabanyan does not like to... <laughs> He does not stand up well, so I'd actually use the medals that come with this toy to kind of keep him propped up. But as I can tell, the like the figure design isn't bad. It's just kind of okay for Jabanyan. It's not really the best you're gonna get. He's pretty fine. This is what the back looks like. Pretty standard from what I can gather. It's not bad, you know. He's like passable. However, Rough Raff on the other hand, oh my gosh, he just will not stand up. Are you good? Nope, he's okay. He's just gonna he's gonna lay down. He's taking a nap. All right. <laughs> Let's now focus a little bit on Ruff Raff though. Now, Ruff Raff is kind of unique in the fact that I don't think there's really many figures of him, and he actually looks pretty darn cool. He stands up well despite his really large hairdo, and the backside looks, you know, fine. But there is one really big issue, at least on mine, and that is that there's like some really bad paint problems on the top of his hair. Now this sort of thing happens in any like vinyl toy creation, but it's kind of unfortunate that mine has it, but as you can see here there's like some paint smudges and there's even a little bit on the back if you can see right there. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, I hope that doesn't happen to literally every toy of Ruff Raff, because it's a shame, because he's a pretty cool character as far as posability goes though. It's not really too much, his legs can't move, neither can his feet, but his arms can go up and down, so that's kind of cool. But his, like, head shape kind of prevents them from going all the way back, which is, well, I guess not a really big deal since you can just swing them back in this direction if you really wanted to. And <laughs> I don't know what type of pose this is, but, yeah, if we wanted him to, like, you know, do some push-ups, he can do that. And he can turn his head <laughs> in a ridiculous fashion. I think I've literally created a new yokai now. He's like a rhino or something, but, yeah, pretty nice. 
It does stink though that mine has that paint problem, but that's not really a bash on the product itself. But my favorite out of the like three has to be Badignan. So Badignan straight up just has no problem posing at all. His tail kind of like keeps him on the ground a little bit, gives him almost like a third leg, which is, I don't know if they planned that or not, but his head is just like the best design ever. The paint job looks really, really nice. He's got his pompadour just sticking out and <laughs> just look at that, man. You think you got a big pompadour? I got the biggest. No, man, you got the biggest. I got the biggest in town. And then, and then they fight with their ridiculous hairdos, but no. Uh, this bad yawn. It just actually looks really nice. The camera doesn't even really do it justice. Like, the colors are actually just really done, like, well. The paint job's good. He even has this, like, kanji on the back of his coat. As far as posability goes, though, it's really, really lacking. That's basically as much movement as you're going to get from this figure. And that's okay. I mean, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. But if you're really looking for this toy for, like, to play around with... This is not it. It has relatively low posability. The only one that does is the Rough Raff here. And that's really just about it. Jabanyan does have like a little bit of posing too with his like right and left arm. But you're not getting a lot out of these guys. And please Jabanyan just... Oh my gosh, he actually stayed. Holy crud. I was trying to get him to do that for like <laughs> the better portion of this video. But yeah, they're pretty cool. The medals, I guess, can be posed with them too. I think that'd be kind of a cool, like, setup if you had it on your shelf. Oh, I'm kind of curious. Can Rough Raff kind of hold his metal? Eh, kind of. It's like trying to be, like, the metal moments toy, maybe. No, he totally can't. And I know Bad and Yon can't. We'll try something. No, that is not going to work. Okay, I retract that statement. But, yeah, the toys are okay. But here's my biggest complaint. They are pretty darn expensive. Like, you've pretty much seen what they can do right here. Outside of that, you're not getting a whole lot. Sure, this is pretty much the biggest vinyl Jabanyan you can get. Just for comparison's sakes, we're going to check out the Jabanyan Glow in the Dark figure that came out last year. And it's like bigger, sure, like height-wise, but just barely. And I gotta say, like, I think it's almost the same exact figure. So if you already have this figure of Jabanyan, I don't see why you would get this, even if you are like a really big fan of Rough Raff and... Bad and yawn, but hey, maybe that's just my opinion. All in all, though, I'm not like unhappy with my purchase, but I was kind of expecting the figures to have a little bit more posability since we don't really have like yokai action figures yet, and I thought this would be like the first introduction of that. And actually, he can actually stay up pretty well. He kind of just like rests on his tails back there. But yeah, guys, that was my very brief review of this collection. Not gonna lie, it's not terrible, but it leaves a little bit to be desired. But maybe I'm just impartial because my rough raft got a little messed up. But hope you enjoyed as always. Make sure to check out my other Yokai Watch videos. And oh, if you're curious on what the QR codes will give you, I'll link those right now.